All right, Jake Kishners, we are now in Sansa Dorni, which is about 40 minutes outside of Barcelona. We're headed over to a winery. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Good morning, Jake Kishners. We are here in the Le Jambre area in Barcelona. We are headed on a winery tour today. We're going to one of these high-class wineries with our newest wine shop owner, Adrian and Abel. And uh, yeah, we're headed back over to Sants and uh, gonna hop a train and get up to a mountain that is directly west of uh, Sitges. At Sants Station, we met up with our friend Damian. It's gonna be cold where we're going. It's gonna be freezing and you are gonna die. <laughs> I didn't bring any freaking pants. He was told. And and I was told by Flo to, to wear freaking a hoodie. And as uh, I told him, uh, winter is coming, so. Winter is here. <laughs> Barcelona can be cold. It will cost you 8 euro 40 for a round trip ticket for the 40 minute ride to San Sidorni. And on the way there, you will see the FC Barcelona training facility. Before you know it, you will have reached Barcelona's wine region. All right, Jaycationers, we are now in Sansa Dorni, which is about 40 minutes outside of Barcelona. We're headed over to a winery. We're gonna walk over and find some cervezas. From the Sansa Dorni train station, it will cost you about 15 euros to get to your vineyard of choice. So the name of the winery is Canbas Domini Vinicola. And we're lost. No, we're not. No, we're not lost. We have taxis. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, 11 in the morning. 11 a.m. Cerveza. Cheers. Cheers. So, vermouth time is it's an excuse to drink before lunch. So that's the way they did it. You usually don't do it with limon, but... Uh, orange. Yeah, you, you should do it with orange or olives. Cheers. What time is vermouth time though? Oh, just before one or before two. Taxis are ready, bro. Taxis are ready, so we're gonna have two. Two Mercedes, by the way. These are all the drinking buddies today. <laughs> and now, right on time. Let's go. So on the way to our vineyard, we ended up getting lost, and we ended up at Cabas Pereventura. Can Bas, the winery we were supposed to go to, is actually under Paraventura and only about five minutes away. So Adrian took us to the wrong spot, but now we're here. We're here with Flo now. I I'm not gonna comment about it. No comment. He's just my dumbest husband. <laughs> <laughs> So we're starting up the winery tour. Just got here, even though we got a little lost and ended up at a cava spot. But we're here now. Tan Bas offers a variety of tours which start from 29 euro all the way up to 85 euro. They do a journey tour to the routes. You can ride a 4x4 vehicle around the vineyards and also do a Segway tour. So this place produces about 30,000 bottles of wine per year, but this whole area, the grapes is used for wine, but it's also known, not this area, but around is for cava. I don't understand what the tour guide saying so okay Damien is gonna try to translate but it's hard it was built at 1400 but they bought it at 2011 can means owner of the, the owner of the area the, the name of the, name of the family. family exactly the 1600 they got really really big and really really rich they got more uh, Arias and uh, more grapes. How much wine is produced here? Uh, 60, uh, 30,000, 30, yeah, but 30,000 bottles a year of wine and a million something of cava. 1.5 million bottles of cava. Yeah, and wow. the street in front there, it it is a uh, part of the Via Augusta. It's the one that uh, is connecting Spain with the rest of the Roma, Roma Empire. Empire. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> One more thing, this church that you guys see right here uh, was built in 910. 
In the past, there have also been some private weddings at this quaint little church. An occasion which I'm guessing was full of love, happiness, and vino. According to the Kanbas website, Kanbas is a place where the vines have been cultivated for more than 2,000 years. A settlement inhabited since ancient times. An ancestral home created from an old farmhouse. An area of agricultural production dedicated without interruption and viticulture. Eventually, the tour took us deep into the wine cellars. This is, they're trying the ancient way of the Romans by using this, they call amphoras in our language. So instead of using wood, they're using this. This is ceramic, old ceramic. So they're trying a new way, they're experimenting, and this is the experimentation room. The end of the tour showcased some of Canvas's most excellent wines. Now the real fun begins, O'Brien. Yeah, this is where we from. <laughs> the Canvas wine tasting room brought a very relaxed feel, and it was almost like we were at a countryside home, relaxing by the fire and hanging out by the gardens while enjoying some of Catalonia's best wine. The tour offers four different wines to taste at the end of the tour. Starting off with a Chardonnay. <laughs> yep. mm. So this one right here is 75% Chardonnay and 25% Chiarello. Um So according to the experience we're going to have, it's going to be full of flavor. Uh, so it's made on the barricas that you saw, made of ceramic. It's an experimental wine, uh, so it's going to have a different flavor. Let's see what we get here. It's a soft smell. Um, it's, it's quite different, actually. It's quite it's interesting. Enjoy. Amazing diamonds that the heirs give us. Talk about your wine, your new store. Okay, uh, we are starting to be a very, very, very nice, interesting business with the wine. It's passion we share with my friend Adrian. And we hope to share this experience with other friends and new friends. So that's all. Cheers for Cheers. us. Cheers for everybody. And, uh, larga vida al vino. <laughs> Say, say something in Italian. Ciao a tutti ragazzi. That's it. <laughs> Make sure you check out Wines and Copas, which is a block away from the famous Sagrada Familia on your next visit and say hi to Abel and Adrian. It's very tasty, it feels... The mouth has very balanced tannins. So I think it's, it's a very, very good one. Cheers, guys. Cheers. I picked up a couple things. I got the cab and the charello. I'm gonna bring it home to Mari and uh, my best friend Jace. So you guys uh, are gonna get some wine from Catalonia. We're just at a, 
at a Paki convenience store and they heard us speaking English and the guy tried to mark up the prices on Dami. So yeah. we said screw it and we went to Condis. Half of the price. We'll spend half, half. half the price and they can't rip you off there because it's a so chain. So if you come to Barcelona, just check the prices. If they don't tell you the prices, don't buy. They're ripping you off. <laughs> and I bought this Manila beer. It's a San Miguel beer. 67 cents each, 4 euros for a six pack. Can't beat it. Bro. Can't beat it. <laughs> that was Can Bas. Um, go check it out. I'll link it below. Please like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys. Peace.